how to measure the volume of standing trees. We can estimate the volume or amount of forest products that can be obtained from trees. Calipers, diameter tape, or tree skill sticks can be used to collect the measurements. We're going to show you how to use a tree skill stick or Biltmore stick to measure a tree's diameter at four and a half feet above the ground line, also known as diameter at breast height or DBH. With the flat side of the stick facing you, hold the stick against the tree at breast height and 25 inches from your eye. While keeping the stick level, line up the left side of the stick with the left edge of the tree. Do not move your head, but move your eyes to the right edge of the tree and read where it falls on the stick to the nearest inch. Now that we have our diameter measurement, we need to determine the height of the tree. Height can be measured as total or the entire height from the ground to the treetop or as merchantable, which varies according to which type of product will be cut from that tree. An easy way to measure height is using our Biltmore stick. First, we will pace out one chain, or 66 feet, from the base of the tree to a point where we can see the entire tree. If you pace out a chain and the tree is still taller than the top of your stick, pace out another half chain, or 33 feet. Use the side of the stick that is marked for tree height and hold it vertically 25 inches away from your eye. Next, line the bottom or zero end of the stick up with the bottom of the tree while allowing 6 to 8 inches for the stump height. While keeping your head still, move your eyes up the tree to the point where the top of the last merchantable cut would be made in the tree. This is where the first major fork or another defect occurs. Now, continuing with a still head, read the measurement. We read saw logs to the nearest full one half log. Now that we have measured the tree diameter at breast height and the height in logs, we will use a table to estimate the volume or board feet of the tree. First, we will read down the left-hand column until we come to the cell containing our tree diameter. Second, we will move across the row until we come to the column containing the tree merchantable height at the top. We have now found our merchantable volume of the tree. We can record our data and move on to the next tree. In summary, by measuring the tree diameter and height, we were able to determine the volume or amount of tree product that can be obtained from the tree. Good luck, and don't forget to practice finding your DBH and pacing out 66 feet.